Previously, in episode 1, Susan and Kazuki were summoned as heroes to another world, but Yusato gets there by accident because he was hanging around with them. Poor guy was an accident, but the mage Welsi tells Yusato to have a magic aptitude test, because chances are that he could have gotten some kind of powers, and as he touched the magic crystal, it turned green, indicating that Yusato had the rarest healing powers, but the only downgraded problem is that the leader of healers named Rose is a tyrant that even King Lloyd is afraid of. And Rose kidnapped Yusato to turn him into a full-grown healer. Then, the day after that, Susan and Kazuki gets to Yusato to check up on him to see if he's fine or not, seeing him alive they made up their mind to work hard to become stronger, and as for Yusato, his training starts from that day on, Rose taught him first to feel his mana, and once Yusato grasped the feeling of his powers, Rose moves on to the next stage. That is to teach Yusato to draw out his mana, but first she gives Yusato to learn the basics of this world, it had the map of the Linger Kingdom and right next to it was the Demon Kingdom. So Yusato learns from the book about Grizzly Bear and much more about the beast of this world, then from the second day his hellish training started and he gave up almost immediately. So Rose healed his sore muscles and pushed him back to his running, then from the fourth day he joined others but he was the only one lagging behind, and just like that. Day after day passed and his training continued, and one day he started to draw out his power subconsciously to heal himself. It kept him from being tired from his training so he started to force himself to run more than usual, then on the eleventh day. Push-up comes and bro managed to use his healing to continue his push-up to 1000, Rose then tells Yusato that she's training him so that he could save his life from an enemy in battle. And it could also be useful in saving others' lives on the battlefield, then Rose raised his level of difficulty level of training, and on the 21st day, Kazuki and Susan came to visit Yusato with the princess and knight commander, but they saw how tough Rose is going on Yusato with his training, it was a little too much. So when she added a little more to the weight, that just drew out more of Yusato's healing powers, he kept healing himself to keep up with the training, but Susan was impressed by Yusato's muscles. But Knight Commander Sigils got angry at Rose because she was going too hard on Yusato's training. But Rose tells Sigils that she wants Yusato to be her right-hand man and that's why she's not compromising with his training, she gives a break to Yusato to chat with Sigils first. And Yusato sits down with his friends, their princess Celia introduced herself and Yusato got on his knee to apologize for his casual behavior, but she didn't mind because she likes to be casual. She even brought apple pie for them. Then after that, Kazuki asked Yusato about his training and he tells him that it was just a light training for today, as for him and Suzun. They were being trained by Sigils and Welsi in both magic and swordsmanship, but their Suzun was interested to see Yusato's six-pack abs, but seeing that rock-hard muscles. Kazuki knew how tough Yusato's training had been so far. But Yusato likes it anyways because he started to enjoy his surroundings and more so he wanted to be of some use to them when they fight with the demon army. But then Tong comes there and tells Yusato that he saved his lunch this time, which pisses off Yusato even more because Tong had stolen his lunch before, but seeing Yusato living normally. Kazuki and Susan were at ease and goes back to train more, but the next day, Rose had a different training set for Yusato, so she brings him out from the town to the forest. Then she orders Yusato to hunt down a grand grizzly bear, and until he succeeds, he is not allowed to return home. She threw him off, but Yusato saved his life by healing himself, Yusato thought hunting down the bear would be easy, but the real thing is way scary, so Yusato runs out to save his life. But the bear was still right after him, so he remembered his training and tried to face off, but their numbers multiplied, so Yusato had no other option but to run out of there. He jumped down the hill in a waterfall, and chose a place to stay, he had some basic supplies to survive. So he started to make count of his days, Yusato first gets familiar with the area and found the bear's scratches, there he got on guard from the rustling noises. But it turns out it was just a little bunny, so Yusato healed its injury, but after that it kept following Yusato even though he tried to get away from it. But Yusato suddenly thought this little one should know the grizzly bear's location, and the bunny then takes him to the place, the grand grizzly lived in a group, and now Yusato has found its den. But that bunny was still sticking close with him, and for a few days, Yusato monitors their movement, but he got stomachache from river water, so the bunny even showed him a place of fresh water. But for some reason, the bunny got scared of something, and Yusato noticed that the bunny wasn't scared of grizzly bear, but it was now scared of something, which means something is dangerous nearby. 
And there he saw the giant serpent was the reason, but after that day, Yusato never saw the serpent for four days, and killing the bear family just felt a bit wrong. But he can't return home until he kills the grand grizzly, so he made up his mind to fight, but Bunny stopped him from going into the fight that day, so Yusato stays until the rain stopped. Then he goes to the grizzly's den, but the bears were already killed, from the injury, he knew it was serpents doing, but somehow their little kid was saved. It broke Yusato's heart to see a child mourning their parents. So Yusato decided to avenge those grizzly parents for the little bear, he filled his stomach and gets ready for a fight, he craved out a wooden stack and told the bunny to run away. But before that the bunny leads him to the serpent where he saw the cub was already there and wanted to take revenge for his parents, so to save the cub, Yusato jumps in and gets near death. But he dodged the serpent and hit its eye and blinds it from one side, so he got a blind spot, and Yusato attacks it from the left side. But the serpent bits Yusato because he baited him to come from the left, Yusato used most of his healing power to cure the poison, then he charged in for the final attack. And the cub stopped the serpent's tail from hitting Yusato, and it helps him to land a drastically powerful punch, and then he stabbed once again with the wooden stack, and with that. Yusato thought he killed the serpent, but the serpent once again woke up, and Yusato couldn't even lift his finger, so he remembered he was going to die because Rose sent him to this training. So he started to curse Rose by saying she's an ogre or a violent woman, but that's where Rose herself dropped from the sky and killed the serpent with a single kick. She got here because the bunny Yusato was friends with was her pet, and she had sent him over to keep an eye on Yusato, she was always near the forest. So she got here when she learned about the serpent, it was one of the demon army's beast, but she was impressed that Yusato injured the thing. Where whole unit of knights could get a hard time killing it, but their cub got defensive for Yusato, and seeing him Rose tells Yusato to take him in, both cub and Yusato were injured. So Rose takes them back home, and with this fight, Rose saw that Yusato was qualified to stay by her side on the battlefield, because the demon king is about to make his move again. But, right there, the second and third episode ends, but to watch more of this anime, stay tuned to my channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest recaps of newly aired anime. But, for now, take care.